What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to add a policy privacy page onto our WordPress website, okay? So, recently according to the internet laws and GDPR all the websites should have a policy privacy page to talk about Google Analytics, cookies and others data that you collect, okay? And on WordPress it isn't different, however, WordPress make it easier for us in order to create and add this page, okay? So, let's learn how to do it, okay? First of all, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us, okay? So, after it is made, just go to our WordPress dashboard. I like to start all my videos into this place to make it equal for everyone. So, review the left side of menus and scroll down until you find a menu called settings, okay? Into the left side of your screen, hover your mouse over it and click on privacy. No worries, this is completely free, independently of the theme that you are using, the plugins, your hosting, WordPress came with this automatically, okay? And here is the privacy settings, you have some privacy guides, okay, that WordPress share with you. You have the privacy guide to talk about cookies, about the WordPress and some other policies, for example, if you are using WooCommerce plugin, they show right here the WooCommerce privacy, okay, policy. But keep on the settings tab, and once on the settings, the very first thing to do is go right here, create a new privacy policy page. Click on create. The WordPress gonna generate for you um, the full WordPress policy privacy page, okay? This is the most required page WordPress create, it's in different languages according to the, your installation language. You can customize this page in the case that you need. I'm gonna use this page for now. Click on publish. After the page published, let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. And once again, move to settings, privacy. Once on privacy, change our privacy policy page. So as you can see, you can select any of our published pages to be our policy privacy page. Once we already have created this one, it's gonna be set automatically, but it's good to know that you have this option. And here is my policy privacy page. Of course, you can customize it. Let's make a link with the previous video where we did learn how to generate a more competent and complete policy privacy page. And here is our policy privacy, okay? And we can replace, we can use this termly policy privacy page into the WordPress. If you have doubts about how to use this, I'm gonna leave some links into the description below and a card over here for video tutorials where I do explain how to embed this on WordPress, how to generate this, okay? So no need to worry, go there and after, come back right here. Let me go back to my policy privacy page. I'm gonna click on edit page into the top menu. And here is my page. I don't like the way that this page was made, so I'm gonna select it all, delete, and after this, just apply the custom HTML and embed my policy privacy nearly generated page. Another good thing to do is instead of applying the code that be on the terminal, you can delete this after selecting and copying all the terms and posting right here. As you can check, this is a much bigger and more complete policy privacy page. Let me republish, let me update now, and let's review. And 
here we go this is our more competent policy privacy page of course we can apply some images you can use your page builder to customize it but the most important part for the law for the internet law it's having the content published on your site and of course you may need to link this into the footer of your site for example so for example you can apply this page into the footer of your site there is a couple of methods but normally we can go to menus we can create a new footer menu. Let's type this footer. Because in most of the sites, the policy privacy and other important pages go to the footer. And right here we can apply some important links. For example, the terms, the dashboard, the shop, the account and let's search for our policy privacy policy privacy let me save this menu and now let me go to my appearance widgets and apply this menu as a widget into the website footer section okay it's not on the sidebar it's on the first footer column Right here, I'm gonna search for menu. Navigation menu. And let's select the footer menu. Let me update. Let's check the final result. And here is our page present on the footer of our site. And the policy privacy included. Okay? And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the free options that we offer okay or Enzo WordPress team that is the best free WordPress team in the case there are needs of a website build or a landing page builder without investing money on it go to Enzo just go to our WordPress dashboard appearance teams add new and search for our Enzo you're gonna be surprised about how many premium features this team offers for free okay Moreover, in the case that there are needs of extra widgets, elements, templates, and tools in order to create and customize your website layout, look and feel, or even pre-built websites that you can import with a single click without paying anything, go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new and search for our borderless WordPress plugin, okay? Moreover, and as a final note, if you are in need of support while doing your site, with extra features and almost unlimited sections, pages, and hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click for every business style, go to visualmoto.com, review the Visual Moto Pass product, and go premium, okay? And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!